Well, it's a wonderful reception. The whole crowd is standing, and the England team are joining in, and led by Yardley, three cheers for the Don as he gets to the wicket. Yardley went up to Bradman and shook him by the hand and then called for three cheers. And now the crowd settled down again. They've got 40 minutes, 40 minutes more left for play. And uh, Bradman is now taking guard. Hollis is going to bowl at him. And John Arlott shall describe the first ball. So come on, John. Well, I don't think I'm as deadly as you are, Rex. I don't expect to get a wicket, but it's rather good to be here uh, when Don Bradman comes into bat in his last test. And now here's Hollies to bowl to him from the Vauxhall end. He bowls, Bradman goes back in the direction of the House of the Houses of Parliament, which are out beyond mid-off. It doesn't go that far, it merely goes to Watkins at silly mid-off. No run, still 117 for one. Two slips, a silly mid-off and a forward short leg close to him as Hollies pitches the ball up slowly and he's bowled. Bradman, bold, hollies, not. Bold, hollies, not. And what do you say under those circumstances? How, I wonder if you see a ball very clearly in your last test in England, a ground where you played out some of the biggest cricket of your life and where the opposing team have just stood around you and given you three cheers and the crowd has clapped you all the way to the wicket. And if you really see the ball at all. Anyway, Bradman went forward. It was Holly's googly. It clean bowled him, groping right down the pitch. And he was just beaten all the way. I think he was completely out of his crease and would have been stumped if it hadn't hit the wicket. He didn't seem to make any attempt to get back. He knew it had bowled him. Australia are 117 for two in reply to England's 52.